Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Nikki Batiste. And I'm Tanya Rivero. Here's a look at our top stories right now. Bracing for war. Today is the day Ukraine's president says he was told Russia would advance on his border. While there has been no attack, we will look at why there is still fear of an imminent invasion. The leader of the Oath Keepers makes his bid to get out of jail. He's facing the most serious charges from the January 6th attack. Our Scott McFarlane has been following the case and will join us with the latest. And doctors say a woman has been cured of HIV. We look at the science behind the potentially game-changing medical breakthrough. And a little later, the families of Sandy Hook victims settled their lawsuit with gunmaker Remington. We'll hear from some of the plaintiffs about what they hope will happen as a result of their efforts. And cold case solved. New York police find a child who had been missing for two years hidden under a flight of stairs. One of my detectives uh, was walked up and down the steps a number of times uh, during this, the course of the search, and he said it was just something about the steps that was off. We have the tip that led police back to the home they had searched several times. But we begin with the standoff over Ukraine. All eyes are on Russia's President Vladimir Putin and what he will do next. Today is the day Ukraine's president says he was told Russia could invade. But Moscow continues to claim it wants to defuse the crisis through diplomacy.